Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another what I eat in a day video. So I'm actually currently doing the egg fast, five day keto egg fast. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just show you what I eat in a day on the egg fast. So like I've mentioned before, I do intermittent fasting. I do dirty fasting, but on the egg fast, I listen to my body. So if I'm hungry, I eat because we're just eating eggs, right? So one of, if I'm hungry, I eat. So it's 11 o'clock right now and I'm starting to get hungry. I did have my uh, skinny brew coffee this morning like I do every single morning. I had one coffee. I'm starting to get hungry now. I'm, I think I'm gonna just chug a bottle of water and I'm going to make my favorite chaffle sandwich. So I'm about to go make some uh, chaffle mix and I did share that in one of my recent uh, egg fast videos. So if you haven't seen how I make my chaffle mix, I'm gonna insert it right here. So what I use, I do four eggs and I do four tablespoons of mayonnaise. Yes, I have the mayonnaise that is uh, not clean ingredients at all. Uh, definitely use your kind of mayo, whatever you use, but I do add mayonnaise to add that extra fat into my chaffles and I'm gonna use two ounces of cream cheese and I just blend it all together and I use my stick blender to do that. So I freaking love this thing. Oh my gosh, it blends everything all together uh, so quickly. So let's go ahead and make the chaffles. One thing I usually do is I um, put this in the, the I put the cream cheese in the microwave for 20 seconds beforehand to soften it up, and I did not do that, so I'm going to do that in a small bowl right now just to soften it up. Makes it a lot easier to mix it together. All right, I have four tablespoons of mayonnaise, two ounces of cream cheese, and four eggs, and I just kind of stir it together first uh, before I use my stick blender. Now, if you're making chaffles and you're not doing an egg fast, you can definitely leave the mayonnaise out. I like to add it in uh, just to add um, the fat source, which is what we need on the egg fast. And now we're gonna use my stick blender. Oh, like I said, I love this thing so much. And we're just going to mix it up. All done. All right, so this is all done. I pour it in here um, and I just keep it in the fridge for whenever I am ready to make chaffles. There it is. All right, so my uh, Dash waffle maker is literally one of my favorite things in the world. It's um, a newish item that I've got recently. I used to have the uh, one that makes the individual Dash waffle maker where it just makes one chaffle at a time. This one, uh, it has been heating up so it's very hot, but this one cooks a four at a time, which is awesome. It saves so much time. And like I said, it's literally one of my favorite things that I own. Not only does it cook four chaffles at a time, but it has these compartments on the side for the overflow. And I used to always make such a huge mess with my individual uh, chaffle maker. Uh, and this one just, it's just awesome, no mess and it's super quick and I freaking love it. If you don't have one already, I would definitely recommend uh, getting one if you're gonna make chaffles <laughs> regularly, like I do, uh, because it really does save so much time and it's awesome. So um, I actually just get it on Amazon and that link is right below if you're interested in checking it out. But we're gonna go ahead and make the chaffles. So my chaffle mix, like I showed you earlier, I did have that mixed together. Um, after I mix it the first time, sometimes the egg sinks to the bottom, so you just want to give it a good stir that's what I'm gonna do right now all right and the first thing that I do is I put my cheddar cheese so I put cheese on the bottom and cheese on the top and that's gonna make your chaffles crispy and the more cheese you put on the crispier it's gonna be so let's go
I don't know if I mentioned, but that has been heating up as I was talking. So you always wanna make sure you heat it up first. I do not use any type of um, cooking spray because then that will make the cheese greasy. So we're just gonna put the cheese on and then we're gonna pour on our mix. That one's a little bit too much, probably that one too. So they're probably gonna overflow, but you'll see it overflows right into the compartments. And then I put cheese right on top. I like a lot of cheese. And then, we cook for five minutes. So I make two chaffles and make them extra crispy with the cheese on top and bottom. And then I fry up two eggs and I leave them a little runny with a piece of American cheese. And yeah, that's my chaffle sandwich. And I have that uh, even when I'm not doing the egg fast. It's one of my favorite sandwiches to make. I definitely recommend making chaffles if you're doing the egg fast. They will save your life. I always keep extra chaffle mix in the fridge uh, because especially during the egg fast, I'm going to be making some more chaffles this week. So that's what I'm doing for lunch. So uh, yeah, I'll see you later for dinner. All right guys, it is almost three o'clock and I wanna make another coffee. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So I actually didn't eat until 12.30 because you know, kids. I was hungry around 11, but they didn't let me make my sandwich until 12.30. So anyway, um, I'm still full from that. And uh, yeah, honestly, that, sand that chaffle sandwich fills me up just you know from all the healthy fat and protein and yeah so i just i love having that sandwich but anyway let's go ahead and make a coffee i just got out of the shower which is why i'm in my robe i'm actually about to get ready soon to get ozzy off of the school bus and go to physical therapy tonight so yeah but first coffee all right, so I have a little tiny bit of water in here, like literally a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can even see it because I mix my coffee with mostly almond milk. So my Skinny Brew coffee, let me get it. This is one of my products. It is an instant coffee. It's French roast flavor, and it has double the amount of caffeine than a regular cup of coffee. And uh, yeah, literally helps me. I say literally all the time. But anyway, it literally helps me keep up with my kids every day. So like I said, it's one of my products. You can check it out um, on my website. It's down below in the description box. Just click on the link, it'll bring you there. It is um, a little pricey, but the ingredients are great. And for me, it is just worth it uh, because I use it, use it as a meal replacement in the morning and it gets me through my fast. So I now honestly can't go without it. <laughs> So it has become a part of my life. So anyway, I have one in the morning and then I have one in the afternoon as well. So I do have two a day. I just put a little bit of water in the cup and then I mix it. So I drink it iced. Most people will drink it hot, but I'm weird. I mean, it's I have snow outside and I'm still drinking iced coffee. I love iced coffee. Um, but I do drink it hot as well sometimes. It just depends on what mood I'm in, but iced today. So yeah, it's instant, super easy. I just mix it with a little tiny bit of water first. I shake it up in my cup. And then I add my creamers, which I use unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I use my French vanilla nut pods, which is a dairy-free creamer. It's unsweetened and I get these on Amazon. So I love the French vanilla. I use that the majority of the time, but I've tried um, toasted marshmallow is good. Also chocolate is really good as well. But I just stick with uh, French vanilla and I think that's because I use the unsweetened vanilla almond milk and it just kind of mixes well together. But I do have another coffee. It's a skinny cold brew, so you have to drink it iced, but it's a white mocha flavor. And um, that link is below too, but I use uh, the chocolate nut pods with that one and it's super yummy. That one doesn't have as much caffeine as the skinny brew. It's like a normal cup of coffee. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, maybe that would be right up your alley. 
So anyway, you can get these on Amazon, um, and I have that link below as well. Hooking you guys up today. And then I just add some ice and I got my coffee. I'm gonna go get some ice. All right. I got my ice. And then make sure the cover's on because I've shaken it and the cover has not been on. That's just great when that happens. And then that's it. So good. I have no idea what I'm gonna be having for dinner, but um, I'll let you know later. All right guys, so I am about to make dinner, uh, but I actually just tested my glucose and my ketones. I am on day two of the egg fast. If you're doing keto, I highly recommend getting a keto mojo. I love my keto mojo because I get to see the numbers. I get to see if certain foods will kick me out of ketosis, you know, because everyone is so different. And having a keto mojo on hand, uh, you get to see, you know, how you're, how you're doing with your glucose and with your ketones if you're in ketosis ketosis or not and I love checking it throughout the egg fast because usually I will do an egg fast after I kind of mess up and gain some water weight and it kicks me out of ketosis right when we eat those bad foods those those bad carbs and so I like to see how fast I get back into ketosis you know doing an egg fast or doing carnivore or you know something strict like that so I like to see it highly recommend getting a keto mojo I got mine on Amazon and that link is below but um, yeah, so I tested my glucose and ketones tonight and my glucose was really good, 83, I think it was 83. 83, 84, I think it was 83. And my ketones, I am 0.9, so I am already back into ketosis. Uh, just after you know my second day, I'm about to finish my second day. So super pumped about that. It usually takes me like three days to get back into ketosis, but I was 0.9. So anything over 0.5 is ketosis. 0.5 to one is nutritional ketosis, and one to three is optimal ketosis. So by the end of this egg fast, I'm sure that I'm gonna be in optimal ketosis so how cool is that i just got home from physical therapy so i'm about to go make my dinner i am having chaffles tonight so i'm just gonna cook up three chaffles because each chaffle is a half an egg each so i just want to make sure i'm i'm getting enough eggs because really how many did i have today so my chaffle sandwich is three eggs this is only going to be one and a half so really that's only four and a half but i wasn't hungry today so i didn't really want to eat if I'm not hungry. You know, the rule of thumb with the egg fast is to make sure you get at least six eggs in every day. I didn't uh, follow that rule today, so. But it is what it is. I am going to go make three chaffles and I'm gonna put cream cheese on them and everything but the bagel seasoning. So freaking good. Like I said, if you're ever gonna do an egg fast, make chaffles because they'll save your life. It doesn't even feel like you're eating eggs. So that is my what I eat in a day egg fast version. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and join my support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. We would love to have you a part of our community. All right guys, I I will see you at the next video. Stay safe and choose health. Bye. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Ah. Hey guys, welcome to a what I eat in a day video. Oh my gosh. <sighs> She's coming. So by the end of this egg fast, I'm sure that I'm gonna be in optimal, in optimal. <laughs> And then I use my um, French vanilla nut pods. I feel like my head is chopped off. It is, okay, that's okay, because my hair is not great. <laughs>